wanted to make a video to kind of talk about a little bit of my frustrations having to do with the new management at our apartment complex. Um, I really liked, you know, when we first moved here, how everything was. Everything was just super easy. Um, how we paid our rent, everything was online. Literally, we signed our lease and everything online. Um, you know, you could put in maintenance requests and everything online and now all of a sudden just out of the blue somebody bought the property and now we are under new management and they've changed like everything um, actually we just got another memo in the mail today um, <clears throat> talking about even more changes that they're making and it just really it it irritates the shit out of me um, and it just really pisses me off. Some of the things that they're doing is just ridiculous. And it's it's certain things that they're doing that's really good and that I really like that they're doing um, or that they're changing. And then there's also things that they're doing that I completely don't understand the purpose of them even changing it because there was really nothing wrong with it. So like, um, as far as the office hours, they changed the office hours. That's not a problem because I don't really go in there. Then, like I said, they don't even have a website anymore. Um, so we've basically gone back into the dark ages. Um, <clears throat> like I said, everything was online. Um, before we even moved here, we signed the lease. Uh, you can look at the floor plan. You can look at pictures. Um, like I said, you could pay your rent, um, utilities. You could make reservations for like the clubhouse and things like that um, online. You could do everything online. And now you can't do anything online because they don't even have a website. Um, you know, just recently they finally showed up on some like real estate apps and stuff like that, like Trulia and Zillow. Um, but you know, it's just irritating. Um, so now you have to actually go into the office to pay, um, you know, and like I said, you can't, um, you can't actually like put in maintenance requests online, obviously, because there's no website yet again, but now they're saying that you have to call the office to put in, um, maintenance requests. And when they first took over, um, the new manager had said that she was the type of person who liked to have, you know, maintenance call you before they enter your unit. And she's basically a hypocrite because in here she says, please note, we will no longer be accepting appointments for work orders. Permission to enter your unit is very imperative to getting your work orders completed in a timely manner. I understand, you know, that they need to take care of stuff like, you know, pronto, but not everybody is going to be comfortable with people coming in and out of their apartment when they're not there. So I kind of understand why some people might have wanted to make appointments for that kind of thing, you know. Um, and also, like, this is a huge complex. There's like hundreds of apartments here. And now it says another change. Um, Within the next couple of weeks, a separate parking lot memo will be distributed regarding the new parking stickers guest pass, rules and regulations, and towing hours for non-compliant vehicles as well as unauthorized vehicles, which I think it's ridiculous um, that we need to get freaking parking stickers. Um, this is not Illinois. We are not a state that requires you to have stickers in order to drive. Um, Illinois, you usually have to get the sticker um, before you can even drive your car in that state. And to this apartment complex is not that high level, like high class level, to the point where we need to have parking passes and parking stickers. Like, I'm fine with, you know, like the guest pass and things like that and towing for vehicles that, you know, shouldn't be here. But in the lease, when we signed the lease, you put down like the license plate number and make and model of each car. You know, we have two vehicles here, so, um, you know, we usually only have one here at a time, but now we're going to have to have a parking sticker for each vehicle. I think it's ridiculous. Um, and also, packages. Um, this is another thing, because before, 
when the old management was here, um, UPS or FedEx, they would try your apartment first, and if you didn't answer when they rang the buzzer, then they would drop it off at the leasing office. Now, they're saying that they're going to continue accepting packages for now, but starting in October, they're not going to. Um, and that was actually why I had like a huge problem getting my new phone, because apparently the new property manager got really upset with the UPS driver who was trying to deliver my phone, and she would not let him leave my phone in the office, which I think is ridiculous. Um, but also, one thing that really irritates the shit out of me is that for the patio or the balcony, we don't have a balcony, we have a patio because we're on the first floor, but now you can only have patio furniture and plants or flowers. Any other items, such as bikes, boxes, couches, etc., must be removed immediately, which I get, you know, obviously we don't have a couch or anything, but we do have patio lights, and so I called the office to ask if it was okay if we left our patio lights there. Um, we just have little solar like the stick lights that you stick in and then when it gets dark they turn on. We aren't even allowed to have those anymore. And then not only that, but in the hallway we have like a welcome mat so then you can wipe your shoes on it before you actually come into the apartment because, you know, before we moved in they gave us all new carpet and everything. And now um, we aren't even allowed to have mats in the hallways to wipe our shoes on which I think is freaking ridiculous. Like, I understand they're not storage areas because that's what it says. Um, all floor mats, bags, etc., must be removed from the hallways. Hallways are not storage areas. Weekly inspections will be conducted by staff. If items are left, we will assess a cleaning fine to the resident the items belong to, which I think is ridiculous. Um, you know, and the other stuff I agree with as far as like pets being registered and stuff for the pool. Um, and all of that but I just think it's ridiculous that you know a lot of these these changes don't even seem necessary um, like parking passes and things like that it's not like we live in a gated community and it's not like this is you know one of the most premier apartment communities within this area you know it's not I mean it's expensive but it's definitely not the most like I said high-class place you could live in here um, it just irritates the shit out of me that, like, Paul and I went through and literally measured the distance between the solar lights outside so then we had it exactly correct, and, um, that might be a little bit OCD, but still, now we can't even have solar patio lights on our patio that we're paying, you know, over $700 a month for? It's ridiculous. Um... I just don't, I don't get it. And then the packages, like that was one thing that I'm really upset about because like if I order something from UPS or FedEx and I'm not home, especially, you know, once I start the CNA classes or whatever, um, or start working, I'm not going to be home all the time. So how am I going to get that? I don't understand the purpose for not accepting packages, you know, like especially when they've accepted packages you know, the whole time that we've lived here, and now all of a sudden, oh, you're not allowed to have packages. I don't get it, and it just irritates, it irritates me. And like I said, um, I was telling Paul, by the time our lease is up next year, I want to move. I don't want to deal with this shit. Um, I think it's ridiculous that we can't have patio lights outside. Um, it's not like they're bothering anyone, and it's not like they're super bright either. They're just tiny little solar lights. But um, I just wanted to share. Let me know what you think. Am I just overreacting or, you know, would you feel the same way? Um, like I said, I agree with some of the changes. And I think, you know, as far as the maintenance thing, they've definitely been on top of getting work orders done and getting maintenance completed. But other things, it's just way too much and it's ridiculous. Um, but anyways, that's all I have for right now. Thanks for listening to me rant. And I'll see you guys again soon.